Hey, how you doing today? My name is Ryan. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we are checking out the Kickstarter for The Blood of Yaman. It is officially launched as of today through the month of November. So go ahead and check out this Kickstarter. There'll be links down in the description below. But what is it? It is a Metroidvania RPG style game, and it looks so cool. I was lucky enough to get sponsored by Indie Booth slash Quintillion Games, but you know me. I absolutely love Kickstarter projects, Metroidvania games, and indie games in general. So I'm really excited to show this one off for you. It is a pixel art style game with an emphasis on player identity and world building. But without going into the entire Kickstarter campaign, I want to show off and highlight some of the things, the key elements of this Kickstarter that just really piqued my interest and I'm really interested in. The inspirations for this game include Castlevania and Hollow Knight for the Metroidvania side of this game. As far as the RPG side of the house, it includes Wild Arms, Final Fantasy, Dragon Age and Elder Scrolls. So if you played any of those games, I'm really excited to see how Quintillion Games is able to like merge these two together and bring about the Hollow Knight with Final Fantasy or Elder Scrolls. I haven't really had anything that like really like brought those two together really, really well yet. So that is why I'm really interested in this project. When it comes to the world building, one of the things I thought was interesting is you'll be able to join one of three influential guilds and leave your mark for whatever cause you deem worthy. So depending on whatever guild you join, it's going to be able to like change the world and, and potentially even the gameplay because maybe one of the guilds will have an effect on either your weapons or your magic and spells and stuff that you deal i think that's really really cool another thing that's interesting is right off the bat here they're already talking about the end game so it says when you're ready brave the depths below for a demanding high-end content that will push your skills and preparation to its absolute limit I absolutely love it when you've got games that really focus on that end game content because you got a lot of time that you spend like building, building, building. But if you don't have a world where you can actually like flex all of the different abilities and things that you got, then it feels kind of hollow. Not saying Hollow Knight made that mistake, but actually Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori in the Will of the Wisps, I specifically remember like running around and like getting all of these abilities and by the time you get to the end of the game you're almost like overpowered compared to the rest of the world and it sounds like the blood of yamen is going to do almost the opposite of that where you're going to spend a lot of your time upgrading getting ready and then eventually taking on the end game content so really really excited to see what what that all ends up being about next up we got the gameplay and so they are going to try and bring more of an rpg feel to the classic metroidvania a formula by bringing on gear, stat allocation, skill trees, dialogue options, and other tools to facilitate a variety in your gameplay. Obviously, you're going to be unlocking mobility skills to further exploration and uncover secrets and stuff like that. So think of that like the ability upgrades for Hollow Knight. Pretty standard Metroidvania stuff there, right? But when we go back up here and we're looking at uh, being able to get the different uh, gear, stat allocations, and skill trees, I think that that's going to be a really fun thing to add to a metroidvania and also just give you a purpose for killing enemies especially as you get to that later game uh stages where i don't know just just needing a, a reason to kill some enemies other than just getting more money to be able to do certain things i i like the idea of being able to level up and also getting more rewards for those harder enemies right the Blood of Yaman is going to let us experiment with different weapons and spells. So not having to focus on like just one primary build that focuses on 100% DPS and being able to play in more than one way is something that I think every gamer can fall in love with, right? Like you don't want to be like forced to play a certain way just because that is like the the obvious best choice answer i'm hoping that being able to be more melee focused or more spell focused is something that will be evenly good as long as you're you're crafting and gearing up the correct way 
there's a lot more going on in this Kickstarter campaign. I really want you to go check it out down in the description below. You can also wish list it on Steam. This is Quintillion Games' first project together as a company, but collectively they've got 25 years of experience. This is one that I think that you're going to want to back. Go ahead and check out the Kickstarter for all of the different rewards. They've actually got some really cool ones for even like fairly low. You can, well, one, you can get the beta and play this game actually pretty soon. I think it's when i say soon i think shortly after the kickstarter ends they're gonna make it so that way they can start getting feedback and stuff from the community and you get and get an idea of how the game plays and everything like that and then after that for 150 unique weapon effect name a dog there's a lot of really cool things where you can like add your name or put your input in the game that's not like crazy crazy expensive so definitely check out some of these these goals some of these are going to go by really really quickly enemy design for 500 dollars like yes please lastly if you use twitter or anything like that on social media they would be super hyped if you would share their game share the kickstarter so then that way it can reach as many people as possible even at them on twitter that would be absolutely huge thank you guys so much for stopping by my name is relia and i'll talk to you again more real soon thanks